Er is een baie stil. De uh, worship team, thank you very much. You encourage me to not be so nervous now. And you will not know how much each, each one of those songs confirms that what I'm going to say today. Ja, yeah, so I hope it does the same with you. So ek is nou eerst klaar Frans gepraat, so ek is nou bykie, ja. Ok, ek is maak net goed roe. Ach jyre, dankie, dankie vir die geleentheid jyre. Jyre, dankie vir die voorig om hier te kan staan en die woord te kom spreek jyre. Jyre, as daar enige iets is wat ek nie moet vandag moet sê nie jyre, laat het so wees jyre. Jyre, laat net die woorde dier my mond kom jyre. Jyre, laat die gemeenskap het sal vat jyre, laat ons die uitgaan vandag en die nieuwe mens gaan wees soos die worship span ook gesing het jyre. Jyre, laat ons iets niets gaan doen na buiten jyre. Jyre, daar wat ons miskien skaam en teruggetrokke is en bang is om iets te doen, want ons bang wat die mense gaan sê, jyre, dat, jyre, dat gaan nie oor die mense, dat gaan, gaan als oor jy, en ons dank jy daarvoor, jyre, jyre, dat jy, jy licht, jyre, ons elke eens aan skyn, vir dag en vir die daar wat kom, jyre, jyre, en daar wat ons miskien, when we struggle, Lord, daar wat ons moeilijkheid ervaar, jyre, jyre, dat ons weet, ons kan by jy voete sit, elke lieve seconde van elke dag, jyre, want jy het ons, on, elke en oneindelik lief, jyre, en ons dank jy daarvoor, amen. Ja, so, ek het hierdie onderwerp vandag, en moet nie waar, en ek gaan nie heel dit Afrikaans praat, he. dit is maar net hierdie stikkie. En die vraag wat gevraag is, wat my onderwerp ook is, wat doen ek met dit wat ek by die kruis ontvang het? En ek kan nou vir julle klomp antwoorde gee, en ek het nog een vraag hierna, maar ek ga dit gee, hoopelijk soos ons aangaan. En dan die volgende vraag is, is dit ook, wat is dit wat ons ontvang het? En dan die derde vraag is, en dit gaan ek vir julle nou die antwoord gee, Vir wie is dit? Dit is vir ons amal. Amal wat in die Heere in glo, dit is vir sy mense, so dit is vir my en vir jou, ons amal. So kom ons gaan begin by die begin, ek het een klomp verse wat um, ek wil deurgaan, so ons gaan bykie dier die Bijbel blaai en dier het alles, hoop ek julle sal ontvang wat, wat ek ook met die voorbereiding ontvang het. Um, Sjanai sê reg, ek het een hulp daar gekry vir die, vir die dag, um, Dankie, sy lijkt jy so op haar sien wees soos ekkie. Nie oor jou nie, wasan nie. <laughs> Markus 15 vers 1. So, kons gaan kyk wat het, wat het gebeur. Kan allemaal sien na so. Very early in the morning, the chief priest with the elders, the teachers of the law and the whole Sanhedrin, made their plans. So they bound Jesus, led him away, and ha- handed him over to Pilate. The, the council of the religious leaders condemns Jesus. Condemns beteken um, complete disapproval. So, uh, hulle is hier bezig om goed te sê wat die eindelijk waar is. Kost, maar kost lees verder. Matthew 10, 34 tot 40. Dit is die Heere hier wat self praat. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I do not come to bring peace but a sword. Volgende. Uh, for I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow, and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it, and whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Okay, now gaan ons verder. Kom ons gaan kyk. Let's go and look. What are, they, what are the people accusing him of? So, ons gaan nou na Marcus 15, 9 tot 10. Do you want me to release you, the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. Volgende. Knowing it was out of self-interest that the chief priest had handed Jesus over to him. En as ons verder gaan, gaan ons na Lukas 23 vers 2. And they began to accuse him, saying, We have found this man subver- subverting our nation. Subverting beteken, ek moet net die rechte beskrywing he, undermining the power and the authority of an established system. Subverting the nation, he opposes payment of taxes to Caesar and claims to be, to be Messiah, a king. So he is three verschillende goeders 
waarvan hulle om antla, wat ons nie weet, definitief weet nie, een van hulle is waar nie. Um, volgende ene, Matthew 22, um, 15 to 22. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in his works. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians teacher, they said. We know that you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then, what is your, what is your opinion? Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? But Jesus, knowing their evil intent, said, You hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin used for paying the tax. They brought him a denarius. And he asked them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar, they replied. Then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. So they left him and went away. They did not like what Jesus brought, what he did, how he did things. He was changing things. And ons weet allemaal, ons hou nie van as goed vir andere. We don't like change. He was pointing out the wrongs and showing, showing the truth. When Pilate asked, what is he guilty of? The crowd, just, the crowd just cried out, crucify him, crucify him. They got swept, they swept each other up, got caught up in the moment. Hoeveel keer word ons gevang in a situasie? Dier ander wat ons aan druk. Do we, do we think clearly then? No. We go the worldly way. As soon as things happen in our lives, we forget very easily. What are the plans? What are our goals? Why are we here? Who is in control? Who loves us? Who wants the best for us? Who is the Alpha and, Alpha and Omega? In Acts 5, 29 to 32, we read, we must obey God rather than humans. Let's can read. Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God rather than other human, than, rather than human beings. Okay. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead, whom you killed by hanging him on a cross. God exalted him to his own right hand as prince and savior that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins. We are witness of these things and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. So as I said, we must obey God rather than human beings. No political party or person can or will save the world. There is no final political solution. There is only God's redemption in Christ. And redemption betekent the action of saving or being saved from sin, error or evil. Jesus pays the price of, of the ransom, releasing Christians from bondage by, to sin and death. Kos gaat naar Mark 1, Mark 23, 1 to 10. En Jesus praat weer Jesus. Now it was the custom at the festival to release a prisoner whom the people requested. A man called Barabbas was in prison with an insurrectionist who had committed murder in the, in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you want me to, re to release you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. Knowing it was out of self-interest that the chief priest had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas instead. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked them. Crucify him, they shouted. Why? What crime has, has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, crucify him. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Okay. He, in Matthew 23, we read about how Jesus warns us about the religious leaders. 
We always want to protect ourselves. We break others down as we want to remain standing. What is God's will and way? Why must we always want to be in the limelight? So by the way, it is not about you and me. It is all about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. As soon as you put the me or the I in the place of Jesus, you are going downhill and fast. It might seem to be slow, but it picks up speed very quickly. Don't get caught up in this. Get back to the cross. Get back to the basics. Get back to the word, the truth, and the truth. And this is not your truth, but it is Jesus' truth. We make the act at the cross so small, but it is everything. Let's can see what happened there. At the cross, Jesus was taking your place. Let's go to Mark 15, 16 to 14. The soldiers led Jesus away into the palace, that is the praetorium, and called together the whole company of soldiers. Matthew. Excuse. Mark. Excuse. Let me see if I can be right to play. Mark. Excuse me. Mark 15, 16 to 4. Is right. Excuse. They put they put a purple robe on him, then twisted to, twisted the, together a crown of thorns and set it on him. Ek is nou heel die mekaar. Mark 15, sik, begin by 6, 6 tot 14. An, ja. Markus 15, 6 tot 14. Skies. En dan is dit ek een ander bybel. Het jylle? Na het was, hier so sit nou, na het was the custom at the festival to release a prisoner whom the people requested. A man called Barabbas was in prison with the insurrect. Maar is ek nou op die rechte plek? Dis een goeie vraag. Ek is nou heel wel die mekaar. Nee, maar dit is Mark 15, 6 to 14. Okay, what's going on? A man called cool Barabbas was in prison with the insurrectionist who had committed murder in the uprising. That is right. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. Knowing it was out of self interest that the chief priest had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have Pilate released, Barabbas instead. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked them. Crucify him, they shouted. Why, what crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, crucify him. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Okay. So, what did he gebeur? Not guilty, when the Heere was not. What's guilty? Why was he schuldig? Thank you. I go from your involvement. Not guilty took the place of the sinners. So, it's not so good iemand staan in for you as you iets verkeerd gedoen het. Let's go to Romans. Ask you, Shanae. It is now up there for you. Romans 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us. In this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. At the cross, Jesus was taking your curse, your place. They put the crown of thorns on Jesus' head. This represents the curse that came into the world. In Genesis 3, 17 to 18, we read about that. To Adam he said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because you, through painful toil, 
you will eat food from it all the days of your life. There was darkness over the land from noon to three. In Mark 15:33, we read this. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At noonday was a sign of God's curse due to sin. Let's read in Deuteronomy. At midday you will grope about like a blind person in the dark. You will be unsuccessful in everything you do. Day after day you will be oppressed and robbed with no one to rescue you. You will be, you will be pledged to be met near. Net 29. Yeah, and so gaan ons now job to. He catches the wise in their craftiness, and the schemes of the wily are swept away. In the next um, uh, Isaiah 59. So justice is far from us, and righteousness does not reach us. We look for light, but all is darkness. For brightness, but we walk in deep shadows. Simon, okay, you sang something about this as well. Okay, uh, Jesus bore the, thor the thorns of darkness over our sin upon himself at the cross. Galatians 3, 13 to 14. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. So that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. At the cross, Jesus was clothing you. Let's go to Mark 15 24. And they crucified him, dividing up his clothes. They cast lots to see what each would get. This was in fulfillment of a prophecy found in Psalm 22, verse 18. They divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. The people did not know that through the cross, Jesus would be clothing his people. Let's go to Isaiah 61 and 10 as well. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Through his death on the cross, Jesus carved this, covered the, same, the shame of our nakedness by giving us his robe of righteousness. Ons weet allemaal wat righteousness betekent. Eh? The quality of being morally right or justifiable. Doing right in the eyes of God. At the cross, Jesus was turning heaven open for you. When Jesus died, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Let's read Mark 15, 38. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. This was the curtain that, that guarded people from the holies of holies, where God's presence was most concentrated. Because of sin, mankind didn't have the, sh the same access to God that the Levitical priest had. Let's quickly read Mark 1.10. Just as Jesus was coming up after, out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descend, descending on him like a dove. Here Jesus would, would later associate his crucifixion with the baptism, as you can see. Mark 10, 38. You don't know what you are asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism, with the baptism I am baptized with? At the cross, the veil was torn, giving us access to the heavenly sanctuary. In this part, it is very important. Hebrews 10, 19 to 25. And here is a few things that I will explain, so I will just do it as we are going. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, 
by a new and living way opened for us through this curtain that is his body and since we have a great priest over the house of God let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance daar staan nie helft nie vol in Engels beteken vol vol beteken vol nie die glas is half vol nie dis vol full assurance that faith brings that faith brings having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful and let us consider how many how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching ja soos ek die woorde wil ek net net weer uitleg it's full assurance in vers 22 and the hope we profess in in 23 he who profound is faithful spur one another on towards love and good deeds not giving up meeting together what are you and i doing with this are we sitting around and waiting for things to happen or are we doing something what is what is it that you need to do what did the lord put in your heart what is your assignment what have you asked god and what is your calling ons almal is geroep ja vir 'n rede we need to can do it we need to find out and can do it we need to be doers of the word and not sitters of the word don't think that i've got all the answers because i don't i struggle with the same things that you guys struggle with but we need to trust and we need to obey and we need to do god's will don't measure your shell yourself with someone else baie kere sê ons vir ouself maar die een doen dit so goed en daai dit is nie vir jou nie jy is spesiaal in sy oë vir jou eie goeders god made us all special in his eyes so each of us has our own gifts we need to get out of our comfort zones to be be blessed out of our comfort zones thank you meryl for doing what you're doing that that's what what it takes to do it start believing in yourself because jesus does and i will like net eindig met nog 'n paar goedjies um there is always hope we get this from god who sent his son jesus to die for you on the cross the gift of the cross is one that keeps on giving it will never lose its power and will never cease to exist exist it is the best gift ever don't get eager sing ook dan dan doe voor something else there isn't anything else so as you op soek is hou op soek en ek wil dit kom net by my op kry help ook daar is hoeveel mense wat kan help en moet nie skaam wees nie always turn to the cross that is the truth daar is soveel goed daar buite en dat dit sê en dat sê kom net terug na die kruis toe en dit sal ek later vir julle sê. Ja, so dit is dit. Ons ons maak getroe. Thank you Father for your word Lord. Lord, there with something is not clear today Lord. Lord let us just know that our hope is in you. That you love us unconditionally Lord. That it, and that it is your love is for everyone Lord. We just need to put up our hand and say we are here Lord. Lord I just pray that you will be with us all through this day lord and through the time that lies ahead lord there were there, there were some of us may be struggling with things lord you know each and every one of our hearts lord lord help us to to know that you are the light you are the light that are that is in us shining through us we but we must just let you shine lord we thank you for that lord thank you amen ek wil net eindig om te sê the light is in you die lig is in ons almal ons het die Here aanvaar ons met die lig daar buite gaan skyn. Ag Here, dankie weer eens vir dit wat u vir ons vandag wees sê Here. Here dankie dat ons weet u is die lig binne in ons Here. Here maar help ons om om ons as u uit te gaan u lig te gaan skyn Here. 
maar laat ons nooit voor u uit gaan Heere. Heere, laat ons altijd achter u is, want ons weet, u moet voor ons wees Heere. En ons dank je daarvoor Heere. Amen.